All right, I wanna talk about Unity folder structure. I've seen a huge number of them, some of them good, some of them bad, some of them great, some of them neutral, whatever, but I've seen a lot of them. So I wanna discuss some of the good and bad things that I've seen. So first of all, uh, I, I'll also bring up some tools. So I'm in the project folder where we can basically see the folder, at, uh, the asset structure. Um, if I have a lot of things expanded and I want to minimize them, if I just hit this and hit the arrow to minimize it, when I bring it back, they're all still coming back. If I want to shrink it, I can hold alt while I click the arrow to close it up, release alt. And when I bring it back, it's all shrunken down. Alt will fully expand and fully close things as you press in. Uh, press them. Uh, I think one of the shortcuts that I showed before, tips that I showed before, only showed the expansion of it. All right. Uh, so inside of here, anyway, let's shrink that down, bring it back to here. You can see that I have a folder called exclamation. Exclamation is a, a trend that I follow, that I'm doing. Um, and I haven't seen many other places do it until I actually help set up their projects. So exclamation is where I put my stuff. It beats out underscore in alphabetical order. So my stuff shows up first. This is where I put everything for my project, everything that I'm creating, that I am directly controlling. The asset bundles that I'm pulling in from the asset store or third parties, those all go to the root folder by default. So I just put them there. There was a time where I tried putting them in this and I've seen other projects do this too, where I take them and I create a folder called plugins or not plugins, sorry, but uh, uh, bundles or assets, uh, asset bundles, something like that. And then I drag all these new asset bundles into it as I get them in there. Now that's not a big deal. It doesn't take much effort. It's dragging essentially like one or two things uh, into this subfolder. And that seems fine. And it keeps your root area clean, sort of. Uh, if you ever upgrade, if you ever upgrade an asset bundle and you've moved the folder, uh, any new files inside of there will rebuild the folder structure necessary to put them in to those spots. So they will rebuild those folders that were in the root. While any existing files that had the same matching IDs, they'll update the existing ones in their present location, which means you, you'll suddenly have these overlapping folder sets. Um, and it can get a little confusing to organize and to try to deal with that. So I just recommend uh, don't bother moving these, let them have the root, and then put one folder in the root for you that shows up at the top in alphabetical order. So right at the beginning you get here, this is your folder. All right, um, next on here, I've got this stuff split out by the type of content. So images or textures, uh, shaders, settings, scripts, scenes, prefabs, models, uh, data. Data is one that I don't commonly see in other projects, but that's one I commonly use. Uh, so these ones, uh, one of the key things on here is that similar to architecture, don't develop your architecture ahead of time uh, because you don't necessarily know what you're going to be facing until you have the problem to face. Uh, same thing with folder structure. Don't put in folders that you're not actually using yet or that you don't need yet. Uh, if you start putting in organizational folders into your scripts, but you don't have many scripts, uh, you might find that you really only had one or two of this particular type of script that you decided to put under architecture or that you decided to put under unit control or weapon modifications. Uh, you might only have one or two scripts for that, but then you have a bunch of other scripts that are similar uh, to it that you've already put in a folder to organize this. So reorganizing them is something where most people won't do because it's an existing project, it's been going for a while, if there's multiple team members, other team members might expect it to be there, and no one tends to hold the responsibility over the whole thing. So what I recommend is just put stuff in the root folder to begin with. So you have like assets, exclamation, and then 
prefabs. So all of my prefabs go right into the prefabs folder. After I get to about seven, if I haven't generated any domain folders, domain being like the specific purpose it's intended to do, not just the type of content, um, then by that point I might be starting to create them and taking a look at it. But if you look at my scripts folder, I've got scripts in the root. I mean, this is common where you might create a miscellaneous folder and put your files there until you can sort them out. And that's, that's not a bad practice. I just throw them in the root. And if I end up with more than about seven, that tells me I need to start creating some additional folders. All right. So uh, one that I add that's new is data. This is typically where I'm putting my scriptable files. So as I generate all my scriptables and I have content that starts organizing whatever is going on inside the game, uh, inside of scriptables, then that is where I'll put it. I have everything right here for all of my data. And if I have JSON files that I am saving or editing, I might put those here as well. Um, I might put those in settings folder. It really depends on what it's doing. Um, anyway, so that's the key organizational structure that I use on this and uh, something that I recommend. The most common one that I've seen is where uh, the where people will take the materials and the models and the scripts and they'll put them into the root assets folder. But that does get confusing when we're talking about having the other asset bundles there. Um, Oh, and uh, one other thing, a, a common thing that I've seen, I've seen this at several places uh, where they've worked on the code, and this is, here's a bad experience, uh, splitting up your content by domain. So uh, instead of splitting things up by prefabs and models, for instance, I've seen other places, like right in the root, uh, have a series of folders like one is based on units. So you get into here and there's units. And under there, you've got models, you've got prefabs, you've got textures, you've got scripts, all relating to units. Um, and that seems like a good idea, like you're, you're organizing it by domain, but quite honestly, how often do you find an asset that exists in only one domain? Um, while there are definitely going to be assets along those lines, you will also definitely have ones that cross domain, but they can only exist in one file location. So if you're organizing your file locations by domain, uh, then where do people go to find these files? I know I need to edit some of the graphics. So if you think about the people who are going to be joining the project, you're going to have artists, you're going to have designers, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have programmers. Those individual people need to be able to find their content easily. And so that's why I recommend the structure where it's the type first, because you've got so many different natures, so many different hats people put on uh, to organize their stuff. All right, now that's the stuff I have to recommend on folder structure. Good luck.